people always ask me like how I made this, like what's the tech stack for this? Okay, so the neat code tech stack is pretty simple, to be honest. I try to keep it simple. One is Angular, and it's actually Angular 14. Now there's Angular 17. I probably should upgrade at some point because they made a lot of improvements, but I'm too lazy to do that. So for now, we're on Angular 14. Another one for CSS, I don't actually have like a UI library. I don't have a components library. I'm writing all my CSS, but I also have a library for like a little bit of stuff called Bulma. Why Angular? It's scary. That's just what I know because I'm a big boy. We don't play around with kitty tools like React or Next.js, okay? I'm just kidding. Mostly for the backend, and people make fun of me for this, but it is what it is. I use Firebase stuff on the backend. So that includes Firebase functions. So this is basically like my REST API layer functions. The other thing is Firestore. This is my NoSQL database. Why a NoSQL database? Just because it comes with Firebase. If it was up to me, I would rather actually use a relational database, but it is what it is. Third, for authentication, I use Firebase Auth because why would I use Auth0 when I have to pay for that? Why would I use Next Auth when I have to pay for that? I'm just gonna use Firebase Auth it's been almost two years of me running this and it's been completely free and it works. So why would I pay for it? I think that's pretty much it for the Firebase side. Yeah, and all of this is done in a TypeScript backend. Again, why? Because TypeScript, I think, is the language that just has the most support for Firebase functions. Firebase trash, but it works. Call it what you want. Oh, you used Firebase, that's cheating. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Make my own REST API and then host it on a VM? Why would I do that when I can just have functions that scale? And to be honest, in my case, I do kind of need a little bit of scaling. When I first started it, I probably could have just used a single VM for all my functions. At this point, I probably need like three or four. And I haven't had to do any redeployments or anything. I run one command, Firebase deploy, and it just deploys the functions. So why would I do anything more complicated than that? Why would I self-host my own database? Even if I was going to use a relational database, I'd probably use like a SQL managed database in Google Cloud or another platform, maybe like PlanetScale. Why would I want to manage my own database? Why would I want to implement my my own authentication, maybe to save money, but in my case, I don't need it. If I wanted to add another provider, right now I have Google and I have GitHub. If I wanted to add another provider, it's literally one line of code. I'll show it to you. Look, log in with Google. Just all I have to do is log in with provider, pass in the Google auth provider constructor, log in with GitHub, pass in Google Auth provider. If I wanna add another one, let's say log in with Facebook, this is how I do it. Log in, Facebook. Copilot knows how to do it for me because this is the easiest code you're gonna write in your life. That's it, now, now we can log in with Facebook. So tell me, why would I implement this from scratch? Why would I wanna do that? People can laugh, but it works. The other thing, I am using Judge Zero for code execution. To actually execute this code, I did need more than Firebase uh, functions. So that's like the downside of Firebase functions. Like a Firebase function will start and execute and after like, let's say two seconds, it kills itself. But I needed something that runs indefinitely to run Judge Zero. So for that, I actually did need a virtual machine. So I got that from Google Cloud. Do you use Docker also? Technically, Judge Zero uh, uses Docker. So when I SSH into that VM, I'm running like Docker Compose, believe it or not. Yeah, so that starts up all the Docker containers that this needs, and then I'm good to go. And obviously, I wouldn't want to publicly expose Judge Zero. I don't want anybody to be able to send their code. So what I do is from the client, a user sends their code to Firebase, and then Firebase functions will authenticate. Is that user authenticated? Do they have access to this problem? And then from there, I'll send the code to Judge Zero. For payments, I'm using Stripe, which I haven't had any problems with it. Is Judge Zero kind of like Kubernetes? It starts up like four Docker containers. So it's not like Kubernetes. It's like a program somebody wrote. It's actually not as much code as you would think. People think creating like a code sandbox like this is a lot of work. And I'm sure it is. That's why I didn't write my own. But when you actually look at the source code and for all you open source people who want to like start working on open source, you got to get good at one thing and it's reading code. Reading code is more important than writing code. And you don't really learn that 
in school. But when you go through this, they even mention it somewhere. I read through the source code and I won't do it right now, but you'll find uh, mentions of isolate. And what that actually does, that takes a lot of the work out of creating a code judge because the hardest part is the security aspect of it. If you're sending arbitrary code to your backend, you don't want it to like do anything crazy. There's a command line tool it's open source, it's called Isolate, and it's used to sandbox executing untrusted programs. So Judge Zero heavily makes use of this open source CLI tool, and that takes most of the work out. So if I was gonna code my own code judge, I'd just use this tool. Now, Judge Zero does do a lot, like it installs all the compilers, all the runtime environments, and it like does a lot of stuff. I don't know why Judge Zero needs a database though, but it does, and there's a lot of other things about it. Like you can read through this code. There's not a ton. It's written in Ruby though, which I'm not super familiar with, but you can still kind of understand it. If I was going to add like additional stuff to this, I'd probably just fork this, which I technically did rather than create my own.